Welcome to Raw Online. I am Dr. Sukanya. Today we are going to discuss about hepatitis B vaccination in adults. Before we enter into the HPV vaccine per se, let us just go through the genetic makeup of the genes of HPV virus. So what importantly that we are going to concentrate is on this. Okay. So this is the S gene which constitutes to the protein, outer membrane protein that is HBS antigen, HBS AG. So all your vaccines are directed against this HBS AG and that means the S gene. Okay. So other than that you have the P core C genes which we are not going to detail because we are going to deal only with the vaccine. So just know that S gene codes for the outer membrane protein that is HBS AG and the S gene has three regions. You have the pre S1, pre S2 and the S region. Okay. Now what are the types of hepatitis B vaccines which are available? So all these are single antigen derived vaccines. So what do you understand from single antigen derived? They are all directed against the single antigen which is nothing but the surface antigen HPS AG. So they are all directed against single antigen which is a surface antigen as we have already seen. Okay. So uh, of the single antigen derived vaccines you have three varieties. You have the yeast derived vaccine, mammalian cell derived vaccine and plasma derived vaccine. The plasma derived vaccine is no longer used because of the risk of transmission of blood borne infections. So this is out now. Okay. So now let us just discuss about yeast derived vaccine. So what do you understand from yeast derived vaccine is here the HBV S gene, okay, the S gene is cloned in the yeast cells and that is why it is called as the yeast derived vaccine and these vaccines are monovalent vaccine that is it has only HBV S gene that is we said the S gene has three regions, right, the pre S1, pre S2 and the S region. Here, these yeast derived vaccines are monovalent vaccine, which means they have only the HPV S gene and they do not contain antigens for the pre S region. Okay. In the yeast derived vaccines, you have the conventional recombinant hepatitis B vaccine, which have been used using for a longer time. Okay. They are called conventional vaccines. And the latest addition is a new recombinant vaccine, which uses a different adjuvant. The conventional recombinant hepatitis B vaccine uses the aluminium adjuvant. There is a new recombinant vaccine which uses a novel immunostimulatory adjuvant called CPG. The full form is cytosine phosphoguanin adjuvant. This is a immunostimulatory adjuvant and it has an or it produces an accelerated immune response. Okay. So you have two vaccines and the yeast derived vaccines. You have the conventional recombinant vaccine and the hepatitis B CPG vaccine which uses a novel immunostimulatory adjuvant. And remember both these are monovalent vaccines. And then you have the mammalian cell derived vaccine which is trivalent vaccine. That means it contains all the three regions. It contains S, pre-S1 and the pre-S2 region. This is a trivalent vaccine, does not have much advantage over the yeast derived vaccines except that they claim that this vaccine is more immunogenic in older individuals. The side effect profile is actually better with yeast derived vaccines than the mammalian cell derived vaccine. Only advantage is they claim to have a increased immunogenicity in older individuals. Otherwise, there is no big advantage of mammalian cell derived vaccines. Now, we have the two major vaccines, conventional recombinant hepatitis B vaccine and the new recombinant vaccine which uses the novel immunostimulatory adjuvant that is hepatitis B CPG. Now, what about this conventional vaccines? These are used since 1980. Okay, it's all time tested. They are available since 1980. They are extremely safe. And in, remember, this is the only vaccine which is approved to be used in pregnancy. Okay, and the zero conversion rate is also quite good. It is around 70 to 90 percent in immunocompetent healthy adults. And this vaccine, as you know, requires three doses, 0, 1 and 6 months interval. Okay, and what about this new recombinant vaccine which uses a novel immunostimulatory adjuvant? 
This is approved for use in adults only above 18 years of age. So, it, is, it cannot be used in your pediatric population. It cannot be used in pregnancy either. Okay. Only advantage is it has an accelerated immune response. It has a rapid immune protection and they claim a zero conversion rate of around 90 to 100 percent in healthy adults. And because it has an accelerated response, just two doses is enough one month apart. Okay, just two doses one month apart is enough in case of new recombinant vaccine which uses the novel adjuvant. And this is approved in US in 2017 and Europe in 2021. Now, knowing the types of vaccines which are available, now what are the indications? Whom are we going to give this hepatitis B vaccination in adult population? Okay, so all adult patients irrespective of the age, those who are at high risk, high risk of HBV infection have to get vaccinated. Okay, we will see who are at high risk and adults above 18 years that is 19 to 60 years of age without risk factors also need to give routine vaccination of hepatitis B. And now comes a controversy, adults more than 60 years of age without risk factors for HBV vaccine is not routinely recommended. But suppose if the patient comes to you and they ask for hepatitis B vaccine, you can still give it, it you need not uh, deny it, okay. But then it is not routinely recommended. But somebody who is insisting on the vaccine can be given, there is no harm in it. So all individuals irrespective of age who are at high risk should receive the vaccine and individuals of age above 19 to 60 years without even risk factors should receive routine hepatitis B vaccination.